Hey guys, Jacob Dupre here at Sweetwater. This is the Roland RD88. Remember, if you want to know even more about it, you can go to sweetwater.com and check that out. But let's dive into this keyboard. Let's check out some sounds. Here's the piano section. This is the Concert Grand. Bright Concert. Mellow concert. Here's concert jazz. This one's called Concert Reflect 2. It's got some echo in there, some delay. Here's a layered sound. This one's called grand plus bell, concert grand and bell sound together. This one's called Piano Flutter.
Let's check out some of the EPs. Here's the first one. Good old Tyne EP Mark II. Tried a couple other ones. Here's chorus time. So here's that sound without the reverb. It's real easy to put it back, just like this. It's very easy to split the instrument into different parts. So you have upper, you have up one, up two, and you have low. So if I click split, now I have electric piano up top, and I have bass on the bottom. It's very easy to change it. If I use the arrows here, I can go down until it's selecting low, and then I can change my bass sound. There's a lot of different sounds that I can put down there. There's a distinction on this keyboard between splitting and using the dual mode. So they're both different things, but they basically give you more sounds that you can play with at the same time, right? So if you click split, it's gonna split up one into low. So now you have two sections. You have up one, which in this case is a clave, and now fingered E bass is at the bottom. Now if I click dual, I can turn split off if I want, so now I just have clav on the whole keyboard. But if I click dual, now I have up two, so it's gonna layer this sound. So you hear that organ? That's an organ sound. So it's layered with the clav. Of course, just like the split, I can go change that to anything else I wanted to. If I wanted it uh, to do a layer with pop flute and clove, hey, maybe I do want that.
wheel number two over here, wheel one is just for pitch bend, of course. Pretty typical. But wheel number two for that flute sound that I've got layered is already set to do a vibrato. It's pretty cool. Check out a couple of the other clav sounds. Ooh, here's clav funk. The section also has some mallet instruments in it. So, for instance, vibraphone. Marimba. Several organs. Here's VK Organ 1. Moving ahead, here's Rotary Organ. You do get an interesting setting where you have drawbar settings that are presets, and they each even show you the numbers to show you which drawbars are out. So here's drawbar one, drawbar two, drawbar three. You can hear the sounds changing because the drawbar settings are changing with each preset. You can hear the difference there. This is VK Organ 2. How about some strings? I can layer that with brass if I want. Another string sound, here's tremolo strings.
if I wanted to add some EQ to that, you click EQ adjust. So you have a negative 24 or positive 24 range that you can go with each one. You have synth string sounds as well. Here's OB strings one. Here's another synth string. This is Juno strings. That's Juno strings one. Here's two. Has a different attack on it. Got choir sounds as well. It starts with pad. This section is pad and choir. So here's a soft pad. Skipping ahead, this one's called slow drop pad. It of course is easy to save your own presets, although we've heard a lot of the ones that are already on here. And if you go to the end of any section, you'll see that if you keep going past the last preset, you have these scenes that are blank, which are easy for you to save and set your own sound. So you can play around with splitting, you can layer the upper two parts, you can put a lower part, you can change them to whatever you want, and you can save those presets. This keyboard does have rhythms on it. It's very easy to do, you can go to select, and you start out with just a metronome, which you can practice too. Then you can go to other grooves as well. So you actually get gradients, kind of like on arranging keyboards when you can change the groove from being less complex to more complex. So these are all part of pop three. And as you change up the preset, it changes the sound. So very easily with this, you can have drums, you can have a lower part that's like your bass, and then you can have a layered sound up on top if you want to, and you're starting to create a little performance, like, like your own little band, right? So you could easily do that if I went back to 
sound selection, go to guitar, got nylon guitar. That might sound good with that kind of uh, Latin pop groove that I had going. I can split the keyboard, say uh, I wanna put something in the left hand. Oh, here's a log drum. That might work as my bass. So then I can go back, I can start my beat. This keyboard does have internal speakers, and it's very easy to turn them on or off, something a lot of people will ask how to do. And actually, this one's really cool because you don't have any internal menus to go through to figure out how to turn it off. You don't need the manual. There's just a button that's over here right next to the drum section, the rhythm section I was talking about, and you just click speaker off and then speaker on. And during this video, I've been using the speakers to monitor my sound. So I have it going out so that we can record my performances. But if I wanted to go out into an amp and I didn't want the speakers on, it's very easy to kill the keyboard. Kind of similar to that, next to the speaker button is the panel lock. And if you hold that down for a few seconds, now the panel's locked, so any buttons you press won't change your sound. So if you're really going at it and you're playing and I don't know, maybe you're a really active player and you like to hit buttons on accident or you go really fast and you change something, you don't have to worry about it with that panel lock on, but you do have to hold it on again, hold it down again to unlock the controls. Thanks for checking out the Roland RD88 with me. If you have any comments or any thoughts about it, please comment below. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click here for more videos like these, or go to Sweetwater for all your music instrument and pro audio needs.